Okay, next is two way slab, the slab which resists the applied load by bending in two directions. So that will be termed as two way slab. So if we have a square slab and we apply a uniformly distributed load on it, so it will bend in both directions. So if it is bending in both the directions, it means it is resisting the load in both the directions. So how we will come to know that whether the slab is a one way or two way. So again we have these criteria. If the slab is supported on all four sides and aspect ratio is more than 0.5, then it will behave as a two way slab. Mean if this condition satisfies, satisfies so it means it will bend in two directions and it will resist the applied load in two directions. Again the aspect ratio is shorter side over longer side ratio. It is If it is more than 0.5 then it is a two way slab. The so slab with two adjacent edges supported is always two way slab. So this is the first case. If it is supported on all four sides but, and the aspect ratio is more than 0.5 then it will be a two way slab. Or otherwise if a slab is supported on only two sides, two adjacent sides. So in that case, it will always be considered as a two-way slab. So it will bend in this direction as well as in this direction. Oh sorry, its bending will be just like a cantilever for this side and cantilever for this side. Okay, let's see some examples of two-way slab. So first is beam or wall supported slab with R greater than 0.5. So if we have a slab system with beams in both the direction and R is aspect ratio of each panel is more than 0.5 then that panel or that slab will be considered as a two-way slab. Similarly slab, slab band system so if we have bands in both the directions mean in both the perpendicular direction in this direction as well as in this direction and the panel inside these bands have a aspect ratio more than 0.5 so in that case it will be considered as a two-way slab so we need to see both the condition that the bands should be in two perpendicular direction and the panel inside those bands should have the aspect ratio more than 0.5 then it will be considered as a two-way slab the next is ribbed supported slab or joist slab with end beam so sometimes we have end beams are the beams running along the line of the columns as a primary beam and as a secondary beam we have the joists and if the joists are provided in two perpendicular directions so then we can have the scenario that the span or the panel in between these joists can have the aspect ratio more than 0.5 and then it will be considered as a two-way slab so slab bounded by these joists if it is it has r greater than 0.5 then it will be considered as a two-way slab. So Sometimes we cannot have the primary beam. We have only joist and we have only the beams at the ends. In between we have columns and joist in two perpendicular directions. And then the span in between these joists, if the R for this panel is more than 0.5, then it will be considered as a two-way slab or two-way panel. Okay, next is waffle slab or grid slab. So it is actually a column supported slab without the primary or secondary beams and we have closely spaced smaller ribs in two perpendicular directions. So such type of slab is termed as waffle slab. So we have ribs in two perpendicular direction and we don't have edge beam or the beams running along the line of columns. So in that case, it will be termed as a waffle slab. Or we can say that we have a flat plate with a larger depth and we have cut some portion of the slab on the bottom side or on the tension side of the slab to create the cavities. So in that case, the solid portion will be actually behaving like the ribs. So such type of slab is termed as waffle slabs. Next is flat plate or column it is a column supported slab it has no beam the flat plate has no beam it is only resting on the columns and flat plate with the drop panels so sometime we can have the drop panels or we can have the large depth of the or the thickness of the slab at the periphery of the column so that is termed as the drop panel or we can have the enlarged head of the 
column. So these are actually provided to avoid the shear or the punching of the slab. And such slab with the drop panel or column capital is termed as flat plate with drop panel or with column capitals. And it will be always considered as a two-way slab. This flat slab as well as this flat slab with drop panels and column capital, it will be considered as two-way slab.